That's gone. Wow. Lost it off. In the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Oh, Smolar goes right side. Michaela gets it to fall. Wide open. He throws it home. Omni Edition Sports presents from Garden City High School in Garden City, Michigan. This is Cougar Soccer. Tonight, the Cougars will take on the Trojans from Livonia Clarenceville. Hello and welcome. I'm Evan Chapman alongside Chris Gibbons and Chris Gibby. We've got a wonderful, beautiful day now out here, and uh, we've got a great game of soccer about to happen. What should we expect tonight from Garden City and Clarenceville? Well, we talked to Jeff Sapulu this week. He uh, gave us our our stats for the game and he in his email he said that they are six seven and one this season and they are three and two in the conference four and two now after they, they are uh, four and two you are right they got a, a game after a forfeit yeah Romulus forfeit a few days ago and after a loss from Farmington and a seven nothing win against Fordson earlier this season they're looking for another crucial conference win before we hit into districts coming up very shortly and Clarenceville not had a whole lot of success in conference. Uh, they've lost a fair few games. I don't have the number right in front of me, but uh, should be a good chance for Garden City to take a step forward and get this W tonight. It is, and, and look for Clarenceville. They're a young team. Um, with a couple of key players that we'll point out throughout the broadcast. Naturally. Their seniors need, really need to step up. Their coach told me earlier this week they need to step up and they need to possess the ball more. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're looking to fight with this Garden City team tonight and uh, get a W here in an away matchup. Right. Garden City has some seniors of their own. Uh, one young lady who we're going to keep an eye on, uh, Lindsay Yankaski. She's the high scorer on the season. She's got nine goals eight assists you know this is the third year in a row I've gotten to call a Garden City high school soccer game a Garden City girls uh, soccer game and every year I've gotten to watch this young lady Yan Kasky and she's always around the ball always around the ball she's put in plenty of goals uh, she's over 50 goals so far in her high school career and uh, she is gonna go ahead go on and play uh, D1 soccer so that's uh, very exciting for her but it's she's very, one to watch it's very exciting and uh, Garden City has has gotten a lot of wins because of her. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting watching her as a youngster through the JV ranks. Uh, you know, she's she's grown into a really, really, really great player for the Garden City team, and uh, look forward to following her career as she makes it into D1. And of course, we have the kickoff here in just a moment, but uh, I'd like to point out that another young lady that uh, is going to be crucial for this uh, Garden City game, and that's Hope Pickens, the keeper. Hope Pickens, yeah, she's been the goalkeeper, I believe, the last two years. Yes. And um, she's done a very good job when you have some of these uh, Western Wayne Athletic Conference. Some of the teams are high-scoring teams. Quite talented. And, and some of them are talented, so it's nice to have a... A good goalie behind the net. We actually got to watch her uh, have a shutout last year. Stuffed. Uh, and as a goalie, you always want a shutout, right? Right. All right, teams are taking the field. This gorgeous day. You know, it, it was cloudy, it was overcast earlier, and now uh, sun's come out just in time for soccer. That's how I like it. And uh, as we talk about this beautiful day, the sun literally came up about 15 minutes ago, came out, and uh, it was a little cold and eerie as we were setting up, but it's turned out to be a nice day. It's a little chilly, it's 55 degrees, six mile an hour wind, so that shouldn't affect the game too much. Um, and partly sunny has turned into almost mostly sunny now that, now that we're about to get underway. But it's, it's just a beautiful evening here in Garden City, and we look forward to a great matchup tonight. This is good soccer weather. You know, just about 60 degrees, maybe a little bit less. Good soccer weather. All right. And, of course, Clarenceville will be kicking the ball off. That's number eight, Caitlin Denny, taking the kickoff. Midfielder. And there's the kick. Clarenceville immediately pushing into Garden City's end. Clendenning controls it, clears it up for Castillo. 
And Castillo, another one of those girls we've been watching for a couple of years after playing this, and she just takes it all the way in. Does not find the person she meant to find. That was the Ankaski she was looking for. Castillo is an integral part of this team working the outside lanes for Garden City, and that's that's a duo I saw when I saw a game earlier this year. And there Castillo she is again. to Yen Kasky is a nice uh, duo. Shot on goal just a little bit wide. That'll be a goal kick for Clarenceville. Yeah, it is, she is a nice duo. And we talked to Jeff earlier. He said that Yen Kasky in the past has played like an outside mid winger kind of role, running up and down one side. This year, he's got her up top in the center. Obviously, she's a, a senior. Uh, you want to get her involved literally as much as possible. Get her the ball. Uh, she's your leading goal scorer. So put her in the center. Be strong up the middle and uh, try to get her the ball. And speaking of which, she's right there. Oh, and that's Clendenning bringing the ball in and putting it on goal and shot scores. That's number eight, Sherlock, Garden City's second leading scorer. So that's a goal for her off the pass from Clendenning. Julian Bunker had no look at that shot. That was a beautiful shot. Bunker, yeah, no no chance on that one. Gave up the rebound, uh, which, of course, you don't want to do, but sometimes it's unavoidable. Clint Denning really pushing, pushing the envelope, taking it all the way in from half on the uh, sideline and sending a, ni a nice shot. Not an easy one to, to handle, but uh, Bunker unable to hold on to it. So one nothing Garden City. That's, uh, what, a minute and a half in? All right. About a minute and a half in. About a minute and a half in, okay. So it looks like this might be a, a high-scoring affair if the first minute and a half are uh, any indication. And, and that is a goal kick now for, oh, excuse me, it's a corner for Garden City. Clen Denning coming up from the back line to take this kick. Now, it doesn't look like anybody is particularly taller than anybody else. That's always the thing to look for during a corner kick. You want to get somebody in there who's able to get their head on the ball, but height is not always a determining factor in being able to get a header. A lot of it's positioning, and that one just goes off the head of one of Garden City's players and all the way back. Goal kick. It was interesting to see the formation that Garden City stuck with on that free kick, that corner. They didn't have anybody rushing yeah, toward the goal. Definitely. They just kind of ha set everybody up right around the, the top of the six-yard box just to, you know, figure somebody it's might get on the end of that. It's got to come close to somebody, right? Yeah, cross, and that goes over the goal, and that'll be another goal kick. I think one of the things we, we thought about ahead of this game is that we might be playing here in Clarenceville's end a lot. Clarenceville as far as I've been told, is a, a very defensive team. They play uh, kind of um, back uh, just to make sure that they, they repel everybody as much as they can. And here's Jankowski. It's a head on that one. Chase it in. Looking for a pass. That's Castillo. She gets a shot right at the keeper, Bunker. And that's what Amanda Moody was telling me this week is that, you know, she, she'd like to see them put a little more pressure on this Garden City team because Garden City can at times be such a high scoring team. Mm -hmm. And she's looking for that edge and maybe at least get the match to be a little evened out. Mm -hmm. Of course. And I mean, with a couple of goal scorers like Sherlock, who has six on the year, and Yankaski, who has nine and 50 in her career, like we, we talked about uh, pregame. Yeah, those are two uh, high-scoring young ladies for this Garden City squad. And here's Castillo, gets knocked down. No call. And throw in for Garden City. And Kasky takes it real quick. And there, of course, there's no offsides in uh, on throw-ins, guys. So if you were going to say that was looked offsides to you, no, no offsides on throw-ins. So Bunker comes up with that one. We'll be... Uh, her sending it out here. Bunker is a senior for the Clarenceville squad. So that is one of those important seniors for Clarenceville. And here's uh, Castillo, again, pass from Clendenning. Here comes Yankaski, stops the ball, not able to really move it the way she planned, I don't think. 
Demopolis with the ball. Castillo, she is a bulldog in there. Castillo to Yankaski, Yankaski gets to that ball as soon as she sees it. And that's a goal kick. Well, we spoke about how we got to talk to Jeff uh, Sapula, the coach of Garden City. Well, we have a young team, and uh, they've been moving the ball around real well on the ground. Uh, we, earlier in the season, we had the ball in the air a lot, so uh, we got a lot of turnovers. Uh, but now we've, we've kind of settled down. We're keeping possession well. I'd like to see us finish the ball off a little bit better. But all in all, the team's starting to work together, and like I said, keeping the ball on the ground, moving it around. And uh, we've been winning the possession war quite a bit in, in most of our games. You're 7-7-1 seven, seven so far in the season, 4-2 and two in the conference after forfeit. What goals do you have from here on out? Well, our goals are, uh, are simple, just to play our best each and every game that, we, that we're out there and uh, see where it goes from there with our conference play. I mean, we need a little bit of help in order to win the conference title, but uh, our biggest goal is to win districts again, to repeat as a district champion, and uh, I, we think we have the, the team to do so, and uh, I like our draw this year, and I think that we're going to end up with the district championship. We have Clarenceville here tonight playing against the Cougars. Uh, what should we expect from the Clarenceville Trojans? I think with Clarenceville, you're going to see uh, them stay in kind of a defensive formation, a defensive set. And uh, from us, uh, you know, see us to attack the wings and uh, break into the middle. And uh, we're looking to score a lot of goals. Like I said, you know, we've been struggling with finishing. So I've been working hard on that in practice and look for us to get a lot of goals today. And from your team, what should we expect? Who should we watch tonight? Uh, I think tonight, you know, we have a senior, Lindsay Ankaski. She's in her fourth year, uh, already signed with IPFW Division One school. Uh, she just recently topped the 50 goal mark for her career. Uh, we usually have her on the outside mid, and now she's playing up top. So I uh, look for her to get, score, get going early and often. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. This will be Clarenceville kickoff after a couple of goals here from Garden City. And uh, I think they're going to do nothing more than just continue to keep the pressure on. Castillo got one. Yankaski with a shot. Saved by Bunker. She is definitely all around the ball tonight, Lindsay Yankaski. As, as she is every night. Clarenceville able to get it into Garden City's end for the first time in a little while. And they will get a throw. A little bit of pressure. Let's see what they do with it. And cleared away by Garden City's defense. And that's Demopolis. And Castillo burning speed down the left wing, able to turn it inside. She wants another one. And she puts it on goal. Nice save by Bunker. So, so far, we have goals from Sherlock and Castillo. And we're waiting on word who got that last one. There were two players around the ball. And Sherlock and uh, another Garden City player. We're not sure who, who put that second one in. Castillo, I think, has taken over this uh, outside winger spot from Yankaski. And Yankaski just dribbling around everybody. Goes to the end line, can't keep it in. That's tough. Trying to dance around four players and then still make the nice cross. Not always easy. And Clarenceville doing their scouting because they had two defenders on Yankaski at all times. And uh, that's, I think, opening up a little room for Castillo on the outside to get the inside lane with uh, all the attention being played to Yankaski. Clears. 
Garden City unable to keep possession. There's Demopolis. There's number 12, Sultana. Plays it up, beautiful ball, in on goal. Nice save by Bunker. And that was Sherlock in a little pressure. Ripped the shot right into the chest of Bunker. And I think this is what uh, we should expect from here on out. Just uh, a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure for Garden City. And there's Sultana with the ball again. He'll play a little give and go. Demopolis coming up. Pass in to Sherlock. Another shot, this one goes in. Sherlock with number two or possibly three on the day. Julian Bunker wasn't sure whether the shot was gonna get taken or if she was gonna go for a pass and they decided to go a shot. And right pass Lock. Another those shot. short angle shots, especially with the, you know, Bunker is not the, the largest goalie. With those short angle shots, if you can get them just just outside of the of the goalie, a lot of times the, the keeper, their first thought is that's going wide, you know, with those sharp angle ones. So you put it a little bit wide. Oh, we're having a goalkeeper change here for Garden City. The young lady coming on now, I believe is Childress, number... Nope. I can't see her number. Can you see her number from here, Gibby? I cannot. Okay, well, oh, here we got a, we got a nice shot of the young lady. Number 11. Number 11. Children. So okay. it is Savannah. I was right. Jeez, oh, Pete. Okay. Kudos to you, Savannah Children. <laughs> we finally got your number we, on TV. We, we, got, we got it under control. We're going to have a replay here of the goal. Beautiful leg. Goalie just didn't move on the ball. And Clarenceville is clearing the ball from their zone right now. Down in the corner. Yep. Four nothing Garden City, yeah. And Bunker gets that one. I think uh, she might be the one we, whose name we say the most tonight. She's uh, gotten a lot of work so far. And that is a foul on Clarenceville. A little bump on a ball in the air. You know, pretty normal classic play. You know, if you ever watch football and you see a wide receiver give that little push so they get a little separation, that's the same thing that happens in soccer on header balls. Looks like Glenn Denning is going to take the kick. And this is an interesting area for a free kick because it's not close enough where you can really hit it on goal that well, but it's far enough away where you can get a nice ball in, but Bunker handles that one. That's the kind of ball you want to hit, just so you can get somebody maybe running a little little looping run, get ahead on it, just have it change direction just enough so that the goalie can't uh, can't really handle it. Castillo unable to control that one. It's going to be Clarenceville throw. The wind is starting to pick up here in Garden City at Garden City High. Not sure if it's going to affect the game, but it's definitely uh, blowing around a little bit. Garden City throw, Clendenning is going to take this one. And that's a deep throw, good throw by Clendenning, and wow, Yankasi yeah. almost got a head on it. Yeah, that was a, that's an impressive throw. I don't even know if I could throw the ball that far. I know I couldn't. All right, <laughs> <laughs> kicked out, and Clarenceville forward, nowhere in the area. So Clendenning will just uh, control it. Gets the ball to Gankaski. Nice pass to Castillo. And Castillo's here is either, I think she should look for the pass. Oh, nice touch. And bumped. And that is going to be a goal kick, I believe. Oh, no, they're calling it a corner. I saw no signal from the linesman, which is what I was looking for. Clarenceville realizing how much of a threat that Castillo is becoming, and they've got a little more defense on her. Well, it's really, really, it's it's pick your poison, guys. You know, pick your poison. You want you want, you want the Cassidy, 50 goal score, right? You want uh, Sherlock, who scored six goals, two in this game. That's a good cross, just wide, off the head of Castillo. 
and it'll be a goal kick. Yeah, it's uh, who, who do you want? You know, just just pick one. Because I'm sure you you know you decide to cover, try to get all of them. I don't think you're gonna get any of them. You have to pick one to stick on. And there's Demopolis. Oh, and shot goal. That's number five, I believe. Booker recently subbed in the game. And that's where height comes into play as a goalie. If you don't have the jump and you're not as tall as a goalie, then mm -hmm. it goes right over your head and that's just painful. Yes, it's never it's never fun to be a goalie. I mean, in a 5-0 five, five game, we're 13 minutes in, a 5-0 game, no fun for the keeper, I'm sure. I've, uh, I've been there, it's not fun. <laughs> Here's a replay. Beautiful kick, and it's just... Yeah, top shelf. It, that was top shelf is what that was. Yeah, ni nice play by Booker. Bingo, bango. Bingo, bango. As they say. Yes, as they, they do say that. Garden City gets the ball back quickly after a Clarenceville kickoff. And uh, we're seeing a few new faces that we didn't see in the beginning of the game. And that's that's Booker, number one, Chelsea Booker, number five. She subbed in. We got a new keeper, and I'm sure we'll see uh, you know pretty much the whole bench used by Jeff Sapula in this one. You know you're up by this much. There's Demopolis trying for her chance just wide. Oh, excuse me, that was Sultana. My mistake. Sultana trying for her chance on that one, unable to connect. Put it in. One of the things we heard from Jeff Sapula though about uh, this team is that throughout this year so far, they, they've gotten chances, they've had trouble finishing. Well, today's a good example. It looks like they're uh, able, five nothing, they're able to put the ball in the back of the net. Goal kick for Clarenceville. We're having a little issue. It took a little longer to sub than I think uh, normally would happen. Garden City is getting to almost every 50-50 ball. They're not uh, not letting Clarenceville have any. And Sultana plays it down the wing. The cross in, good stop by Booker. Come in the middle of that pass. Booker's played a pretty good game so far. It's, it's, it's Garden City's pressure that's putting all the goals on the board. She's, she's stopping as much as she can. It's not easy to... Uh, to have to make every save. And I mean, there are some goalies that will. Castillo on the end of this one. But when you're getting, you know, constant deep penetration into the box like this right here, shot, good save. A, here's Booker with save. the foul over the goal. Not quite. And when you have such a fast paced offense as Garden City and your defense just can't keep up with, with the fast paced Garden City game, it's it's difficult for a goalkeeper to respond. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's 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 all all different sex segments for for Garden City. You know, they've played a uh, little dribbly kind of penetration through the middle. They've played crosses. They've played set pieces. They've played you know pretty much every way you can get penetration. There's Booker with a shot. Good save, or excuse me, that yes, Booker with a shot. Bunker with the save. Ugh. Booker to bunker. Yeah, and the save was made. <laughs> but uh, all the different ways that you can you can put a goal in, Garden City has done every every one of them except for on a, a set piece. And there's a pass from Yankaski. Booker bunker just lets it roll past the goal. And it'll be a goal kick. And here's a nice save by Bunker on Booker. They save way to get the hands up there. Yeah, that's 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 good goalkeeping too. Because if you can't catch it that first time, she just she just softened it, it out. and and caught it afterward. Yeah, good goalkeeping. And uh, apparently, I'm just seeing this now. Apparently, uh, Bunker is the captain for this Clarenceville team. You can see that C on her shin guard there. Julian Bunker, the senior. Yankaski breaking in shot. Bunker gets the save and then bounces around. Somebody put it in. She got the second rebound, and I don't believe she got the third. That was Booker again with a goal. So that's two for her on the night. Julian Bunker taking a beating on that play. 
Yeah, that's that's not an easy save. You know, you expect Yankaski to put it somewhere where it's going to be tough to get. And here's a replay. Yankaski put it, yeah. and it, it's just all she could do to get to it. And you got two Garden City players coming in, and uh, looks like that's that was number 11, Childress. Well, that can't be right. The thought, we thought Childress was a goal, maybe. Maybe they uh, they mess with us with the goalie's number. Anyway, Childress was the one of the two that uh, almost put that one in. So maybe we were wrong about the goalie earlier. Maybe it's number 11 is their, her her number, but it's got to be somebody maybe else. Maybe that's Savannah's T-shirt. Yeah, that, that's got to be. Penny. So my, my, other, my other guess is uh, it's Tatum Spears. That's my other guess because uh, – we don't know who that is. Anyway, 6 nothing Garden City, 17 minutes into this first half. So it's uh, it's been a high-scoring affair so far, pretty much one-sided. And it would be nice to see a little penetration, something from uh, Clarenceville. But Garden City still on the ball. Clarenceville pretty much playing almost an entirely defensive game. Yankaski breaking in. Bunker able to hold on to that one. And Kasky just all over the place, all over the ball. Oh, and Castillo gets to that ball. And Kasky out wide, getting chalk on her boots. Crosses in the center. Oh, almost a header goal. That was beautiful. Very close. Just... Uh, you know, that's half a step. She's half a step quicker or started a half a step sooner. She would have gotten her head on that ball. And that is Childress. That would have made top ten had that one. Yeah, that was a very nice, very nice cross, very nice ball. It looks like Sultana's coming out. And we're getting a sub. It's Demopolis coming to the game. And the big throw here. Castillo ends up on the end of it. Can't get around those two players. And a shot from Sherlock, unable to put that one in. So we've had a few subs so far. You know, the um, players that we thought or that were the stars are not all out there anymore. I mean, we still have a couple of the, the forwards, but we've had uh, some subs. So it's, it's nice to see. Like I said, I think we're going to see Jeff Sapula coach of Garden City use, you know, pretty much his whole bench. Angie Nemopoulos is a sophomore. She plays midfield. And we got to see her as a freshman playing on this varsity team last year. So uh, pretty pretty rare to see a freshman come in and play in center, the center of the, the midfield, because usually you, you expect a, a more experienced player to be there because, you know, the, that player, you know, an offensive midfielder is, you know, like your point guard in basketball. You know, it's, it's, you know, the person you expect to start with the ball and distribute the ball. And so usually you want somebody a little, a little older that's a little more experienced. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank our official apparel provider for GCTV and Omni Edition Sports and Corporate Graphics. You can pick up Cougar Apparel Varsity Jackets, you can get some custom embroidery, and you can do silk screening at Incorporate Graphics. Kitty Corner to us here at Garden City High School, across from O'Leary Auditorium, and you can visit their website, www.incorporategraphics.com, and all of their stuff that they do for us it looks awesome. The baseball jerseys are fantastic They're that wonderful. they did for our crew. They've done hoodies for us. They've done. They do the Santa Land hoodies for they the hats. parade. They did the hats uh, we have. They do hat embroidery for us. So great. Uh, thanks to Incorporate Graphics here in Garden City, a Garden City business, for sponsoring our per apparel here at GCTV and Omni Edition Sports. Yeah, they are wonderful, and they always have a booth set up here during football games. And uh, I actually know the young lady that, that runs it, but that's neither here nor there. But they always have so they always have nice stuff. I always go and look at all the Cougar apparel that they have. Just, you know, I, I don't necessarily always have the money to buy something, but I wish I could. You know, I wish I could buy a new shirt for every game. And they have these really cool uh, East High and West High shirts from the uh, old Garden City High Schools. And uh, West is best. Oh, right that's now. a drilled home. Absolute sniper shot. Sorry to cut you off, Gibby, but but wow, that was a strike. And Bunker, again, just wasn't close enough to it. 
And that is the third goal for Alex Chirac. And that one was an absolute laser. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I just that uh that was an impressive strike from that young lady. So yeah, seven nothing Garden City. And here's a replay. Just one of these things. Sometimes when the ball gets bounced around outside, just come up and just drills it. That Whew. was a beautiful kick. Beautiful shot. Nothing that bunker could do. Absolutely nothing. No, and she's uh, she's been helpless on a fair few of these goals. Not uh, not a whole lot she can she can do in these situations. And like I said, that was uh, I think that would have scored on uh, you know any of the boys' goalies too, including your brother. <laughs> it probably would have. Yeah. Uh, for those that don't know, Chris Gibbons' brother Connor is the. He's a goalie on the uh, Cougars varsity team. So uh, look forward to seeing him this fall when we do the boys game. Castillo takes a shot blocked by the defender. Good play. I'm not sure that Castillo wouldn't have been better served passing the ball to Yankaski there, but she holds onto it. Now she passes the Yankaski. Left foot shot, goal. There's Lindsay Yankaski with a goal. And that's what I'm used to seeing when I watch games earlier in the season is the Castillo Yankaski duo. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, bingo bango, it's in the net. <laughs> yep. And that's what happened there. Yankaski, the 50 plus goal scorer in her Garden City career, tacking one on. And that's goal number eight. Yep, goal number eight. So just to break it down here, we, we got one for Booker, two for Castillo, three for Chirac, and now one for Yankaski, and one that we're not sure who that guy. I think I think it's likely that Chirac got the other one too, but I can't be certain. So uh, we're going to wait. That's a shot from Yankaski. It's it's a nice shot. Left-footed, too, I'd like to point out. That's uh, it's not always easy for, you know, especially young soccer players like these young ladies here. Not always easy to be good with both feet. I know I never was when I played. I still I, I still play occasionally, and I, I'm still no good with my left foot. But that's always uh, an impressive thing, somebody that can put a ball in with both sides. So 8 nothing, and uh, I think this is probably the time, you know, maybe to, to mention the mercy rule is 8 and a half. So so you always have to play a whole half of, of high school soccer here. But uh, 8 goals or more, and then that's game. That's the end of the game. So worth saying, just so everybody's aware, that <laughs> we're probably not going to get to the, the second half in this one, especially with the way Garden City is playing. And here's Yankaski. She wants another one. I think she wants to, to say to Chirac, you know, hey, I'm still the number one goal scorer here, you know, even if you get a couple in one I, night, you know. I haven't graduated yet. Yeah, that's, there you go. Yeah, you watch out, young pup. <laughs> oh, geez. This is fun, though. It is a beautiful night in Garden City. Yeah, it's, it's it, you know, we, we talk about it being a beautiful day. It really is a picturesque, beautiful day. We have the nice clouds, you know, the fluffy clouds and the blue sky. Wow, geez, oh, Pete's Clendenning has an arm on her. Again, with a long throw in. And that is, you know, uh, that's an interesting and unusual weapon for a soccer team is the the, the throw-in artist, as it were. Um, there's a player that played for um, England, uh, and I'll finish this in a second, but it looks like Sultana is going to get one. There she goes. Sultana with the goal. That's nine for Garden City. Nice job by her. Just splitting the defense. Nobody even... There, the, and we've talked all night about how Bunker's had no shot on most of these. Bunker had less than no shot on that one. You know, there was no way that unless Sultana drills it right at her that she's going to get to that. You know, she's in the six-yard box and just, you know, it's just pick your side. You want to shoot it to the right or the left? Right or the left? Which one she picked, Gibby? She picked right, right? I guess we'll see her in a second. Yeah, here we go. She, she just looks just up, up, up. Yeah, and I'm just going to put it past you to the right. Yeah. Anyway, continuing my story about uh, Rory DeLapp, just uh, Clendenning, the way she throws the ball in. Rory DeLapp played for uh, England, um, defenseman, you know, not one of the best defensemen, but he was a, he has a huge arm. He was a, um, I think in like the Junior Olympics, he did uh, javelin throw or something. Anyway, so it was a weapon to be able to, and here comes Castillo. I'm never going to get to finish this story. Castillo in the box. 
Anyway, he was a huge weapon for, for England because he could throw the ball all the way into the box and have somebody get on the other end of it, you know, get a header. And so it's uh, an unusual weapon, but it's nice to have those kinds of players. It's like getting a corner kick. Yeah, in from some a, aspects, from a, from because a you get in. the ball into the box, mm -hmm. and then you can have your set play and your or your set piece and yep. knock it in. Oh yeah, so that that's I think that's why it's it's kind of an unusual thing too, is because it's yeah, if you get a, a throw in from anywhere near the 18 yard box, it it is essentially you're getting an extra corner kick. Ooh, Yankaski, dangerous in the 18 box there and almost got on the end of another one. I think she probably wants to put in at least one more to show Sherlock that it's uh, that she's still here, like we were joking about earlier. Okay. Uh, do you want to know the best thing about Rory DeLapp, though, Gibby? What's the best thing about Rory DeLapp? They, they called those throws that he did DeLapp bombs, which is funny. Oh, that is DeLapp funny. bombs, yeah. All right. Garden City still threatening, crossed in. Good defensive work by Clarence. Wow, cleared it off the line almost. And that was Baker for Garden City trying to get on the end of a goal, but unable to. Baker may have had a millisecond there. Yeah, she didn't have much time. And that was Jacoby who just took a shot and missed. It will be a goal kick here for Clarenceville. Bunker to take the kick. You know what I'm noticing too is that it, I think Clarenceville is starting to lose their shape. I think they're they're playing so much defense. Oh, and here's a chance. Good save by Bunker. Still unable to get to the ball. There's a foul here. On oh, the refs called advantage. He's going to let it go. The cross. Baker trying to get on the end of that. Unable to, Yankaski, and I think that should have been out of play. I think that hit the orange part of the upright. Came pretty close to our GoPro camera up there. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to knock that thing off, you know. I mean, they're supposed to be tough, but you never know. Yep, here's a, here's a shot from the GoPro, and a pretty nifty thing we have up there. It's nice to have those kind of, uh, I always like to think of those as spice shots. Spice you know, not, shots. Not, not, you know, they're not, you know, the meat of the meal. You know, you're not going to be using them all the time, but they're, they're a little spice. They add something nice to the broadcast. And speaking of spice shots, it takes a crew, a cast of, well, not <laughs> thousands, it takes a cast of about 10 here. Oh, I thought you, I thought you were about to say it takes a cast of misfits, because that's what I was going to agree well. with. I wasn't going to go there, but you went there. <laughs> it takes a cast of about 10 people to put on these broadcasts here on Omni Edition Sports and GCTV. We'd like to thank our crew, uh, Jeff Sorensen on a camera, yep. along with Jason Merrow, who is also our chief engineer. And up top, we have veteran of Omni Edition Sports, veteran, yeah. Mr. Brett George. And in the truck tonight, we have Jake Mahan, as we like to call him, Jake from State Farm. Yes, he's and wearing we khakis right now. Zach King, who we like to call Furby. Yep. And we have Dan York, who we like to call Boss. Yeah. That's all we have. That's all we're allowed to call him. Yeah, we don't call. We don't. We don't have a nickname for Dan because Dan doesn't allow us to have a nickname. He's the one that buys the food and lets us uh, do all this stuff. So, yeah, he's just Dan York. So yeah, we like to thank all of the volunteers who help put on the programming, the council meetings, yep. uh, these uh, Cougar sports events, the GCYA opening day. Mm -hmm. And um, our Omni Edition Garden City show and and uh, a shameless plug here, you can find all of those programs yeah. on YouTube. All you have to do is go to our website, www.gardencitymi.org forward slash GCTV. There's a link there to, to our YouTube site. There's a link there to watch our stream 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh -huh. And if you still have cable TV, you can go to channel 18 on WOW, channel 12 on Comcast, and channel 99 on AT&T U-verse. And that's, those are all the ways to watch GCTV. Yeah, the, uh, showing Garden City's goalie. And I think I am right, because I see an S on her jersey there. I think it is Spears that is, is playing in goal. Spears. That of Childress. I think she's just uh, 
I don't know. I, I think we just saw the wrong number. Anyway, yes, those are all the wonderful ways to watch Garden City. You can see me on the occasional Garden City uh, yeah, show, you know, talking, Omni yeah. Edition Garden City. Yeah, search GCTV videos on YouTube. That's the that's the way I usually do it to go find uh, myself kids, and just watch myself. Your technology. Yeah, you can, what? There's a there's a nice shot of uh, Jeff Sapula, Garden City's coach. He looks. He doesn't look super happy, but I'm sure he is up nine to nothing here against Clarenceville. And Garden City still getting a lot of pressure. There's a shot just a little bit wide. So yeah, you know, and and I think I'll I'll double down on what you said. It is nice for every that everybody comes out and helps out. You know, these are all volunteers. I know Dan always makes sure to say that, and so does Ted and Phil when they do games. Everybody that is here is a volunteer, except for Dan. Dan gets paid. Uh, but he's in charge, so you know. But no, it's nice for everybody to come out and, and and do this. You know, we get you know fed usually, but it's 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 fun. It's nice that we all, you know, everybody comes out and, and does this. I mean, what else do we have to do on a beautiful night? <laughs> all right, bunker. I'm gonna take the goal kick here for Clarenceville. We have a sub here. Looks like Clen Clendenning's coming out, and so is Hurley. And I did not see who took their place. I think Yankaski has gone back to play defense for some reason. Maybe because she just wants to. I don't know. But she's got the ball. Haven't we been saying all game how much she's around the ball? Bunker comes up. Strong play there to get the shot before one of Garden City's players could get on the end of it. So I'm sure that there's a couple of young, uh, number 25, I don't think, oh, Pickens, okay. Hope oh, Pickens, the goalie, she's up there playing striker now. So she must have been one of those subs. Oh, and there she is around the ball. Garden City just continuing to threaten. Clarenceville's defense has found their legs a little bit here towards the end of the first half. Oof, and Sultana unable to get that good wood on that header. Not always easy to, to direct the ball exactly how you want off your head. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of one of those things that's, you don't think about how hard it is until you actually have to go do it. Here's another chance. Here's Childress passing the ball in. Demopolis takes a left-footed shot, cleared away momentarily here for Clarenceville. Jacoby out there on that wing, gets it into Childress. Pass it across, shot off the post. Another shot, that one's in. That one was Childress, she gets to the goal. The senior Savannah Childress nailed that one in. And that's 10 nothing now for Garden City. And she's one of those that started the game, one of those seniors for this Garden City team, along with Pickens, Castillo, and Griffith. And don't forget, of course, uh, Yankaski. So now Clarence is going to kick the ball off. And just looking at their shape off the kick, it's interesting. They're playing like a, a strange defensive alignment. It's almost like they're playing a 3-4-4, which is not something you see very often because generally you want at least four people on your back line. Especially with a fast team like Garden City. Yes. Yeah, a lot of a lot of teams play a, a, a like a diamond shape in uh, on defense where they have uh, a, a sweeper and a stopper. So the stopper plays a little bit further forward. They're the one that's more in charge of preventing shots, and then the sweeper is the one that's got to be fast, be able to get back in case somebody you know goes on a run and gets by you. But uh, don't usually see three in the defense. You know, pretty much across the board, every level of soccer, you see you see at least four. Coach Amanda Moody did tell me though that they wanted to. 
get pressure on the ball. So if they're sticking with that theme, then you do the 4-4-3 four, four, and you get the pressure mm -hmm. on the front end and try and get a ball in the net. So here's a corner from Garden City. Baker gets on the end of that one, unable to really get a good shot off. But there she goes again, up, oh, just over the net. Wow. And uh, had that been on goal, just under the bar, I don't think that Bunker would have been able to get to that. Uh, might have been close. She might have gotten close, but uh, there's Baker. Sydney Baker, the sophomore. And, uh, we only have, what, two freshmen on this team? Alex Sherlock and Kapansky. Kuno Patsky. Kuno Patsky. Sorry, Claire. If yeah, we're sorry. I'm sure you get it a lot, though. I'm sure you can understand. I think most people with difficult to pronounce last names just kind of get it, you know. Oh, Not everybody can have the last name Chapman. No, or, or Gibbons. Or Gibbons. You know, or Dan York. You know, that's pretty easy. Cleared away by Bunker. We're coming up on five minutes left in this half. And uh, as far as I can tell, unless Clarenceville goes on a real run, this will be the just about it. Just about all the soccer we're going to get to see today. One half. And here's Bunker clearing it out. And Yank Yankaski is just every ball that gets cleared over near her, she's just all over it. There's Baker. Oh, no, good defense. Way to get it. Oh, oh, good save by Bunker. It's still not out, though. Jeez, oh, Pete, that is a lot of pressure. And shot right over the top. Wow. Clarenceville's defense <laughs> crowding that net as much as they can. Hey, do what you got to do. Survival of the fittest, as they say. And this young lady for... Clarenceville seems to be hurt. I think she took a ball right to the stomach, a shot, and that is uh, that is not fun. I have been there. I believe that's number four, Ashley Hearns. And that's, uh, for anybody that's played any organized sports, uh, you take a, a shot, you know, whether it be a, a football or a soccer ball or a basketball, you get, you know, just that right in the stomach. Uh, get the wind knocked out of you, man. Yeah, uh, it's the worst. I shouldn't say it's the worst. I'm <laughs> I, I have experienced worse than that, but it's not fun. It's not fun. Goal kick here for Clarenceville. Clarenceville able to hold on to it for a second, but not long as long. And I don't know if you can see this, Gibby. It's not on the screen, but Garden City's keeper is almost to the circle at midfield. She's got to be bored back there. She has had nothing to do. As our director in the truck said, she's doing her taxes. Yeah. She must have gotten an extension. You know, I know I brought this up uh, when I did a, a boys game a year and a half ago, but who, who actually watched that and who, who remembers what I said? Just me. So I'm going to say it again. I, when I was a kid, I, I played with a, a, a young man that, that played at goalie for us. Um, and uh, he used to always say, pack a sandwich, because you know we were a reasonably talented team. He didn't get a whole lot of work either. So he used to say, pack a sandwich, he'd be back there. And in fact, I remember one, one game I looked back, I played defense. Nice shot, just blocked off by Bunker. Big corner kick for Garden City. One game, I remember I looked back there, and he was just laying down. He was just laying down in the middle of the 18-yard box. And we were probably eight or nine at the time. But still, I looked back, and I was like, my first thought was, what are you doing, man? If your offense is doing what they should be, yeah. then you got to pack a sandwich, push yourself up, push the defense up, and really put all the pressure on your opponent's goal. If you can. And crowd it out. Corner kick doesn't quite work out way Garden City wanted to. That one's blocked by Clarenceville. Literally every Clarenceville player is back there on defense. Yeah, they don't have anybody up to go and get a some sort of a clearance or anything. Baker. Well, I kind of want Baker to Booker shot on Bunker. That'd be nice. Oh, here's Booker. Shot on Bunker. And Pickens in there trying to get the rebound. Goalie on goalie crime there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
And this is the thing that has got to be frustrating, too, is, is number 22 for Clarenceville, Allison, Allison Lay. She, uh, she's, the, I think, their, their striker. Oh, shot on goal. That one's in. And that's Baker getting, getting a goal. So we've had, let's see, one, two, three, four, seven Garden City players with a goal. At least it might be eight because of that second goal. We don't know who got on the end of that one. So that's 11-0 uh, Garden City. And uh, if they're, you know, goals. Oh, here's a nice replay. Just a nice little chip shot just inside the post. And she put it just about as far away from the goalie as she could. That's another one of those shots where, as a goalkeeper, you have to judge, is it going out or yeah. is it staying in? And if you guess wrong. Yeah. And I think that that shot is something like a, a knuckleball, too, because, it, you know, it, it wasn't actually knuckling, but it's like w one of those weird shots because it wasn't a, a laser or a strike, really. It was kind of a floaty little chip, and it's one of those ones that, you, that comes off the foot and you don't react immediately because you don't think that it's, you know, going to do anything. And there's a shot, ooh, just wide. That could have been uh, 12 right there. And here's a goal kick again. Well, once again, hey, we're coming under a minute here. Once again, I think we'd like to thank everybody participating in this broadcast, make this happen so that, you know, Gibby, you and me can, you know, sit here and, you know, talk about soccer and, and goof around and, you know, have some fun, watch Garden City win. Uh, it's always good to, to watch Garden City win. Yes, yes. Ooh. Hard foul there, very little time left, and that's going to be a penalty kick. I, I'm kind of surprised that he even called that a penalty kick. I mean, he, if he's calling advantage earlier. Well, I, well, I was thinking that maybe you, you might just just make that a uh, a goal kick. Oh, they're letting Pickens take it. Pickens, who doesn't have a goal on the year because she's the keeper, is getting to take this this PK. Oh, and she puts it in. Now she there's. Did. She gets her first goal of the season. Hope Pickens, the senior goalkeeper for Garden City. So that's at least eight Garden City players with goals. And that, Gibby, is goalie on goalie crime. That's what you're talking about. So good job for her. Yeah, the senior goalie, I don't think she had, at least as, as far as I'm aware, a goal last year. So this might be her first goal in a, in a while. And here's a, here's a replay. Just drills it just inside the bar. That was easy pickings <laughs> on bunker right there is what that was. Yeah, 30 seconds left here, 12 nothing. I think we're going to see just Garden City just play a little defense, just clear the ball out. Probably not going to go for another another goal. Yep, there, there's a nice clearance. Like I said, thank you to everybody. Jeff Sorensen, Jason Marrow, um, Brett George, and then in the truck, Jake Mahan, Zach King, and Dan York. Of course, Dan York, the uh, the venerable. Producer. Yeah, the Dan York. yes, that's <laughs> yeah, the uh, infamous Dan York. I think that's probably the way I'd say it. Infamous. And that's the final whistle. Final score: Garden City 12, Clarenceville 0. Like we said, mercy rule in effect. So this is the end of the game. Uh, I, you know, I had fun. I, I think there's, you know, pretty easy thing to take away from this this game. Garden City's offense looks like uh, it can really handle itself. Garden City had a lot of pressure, like uh, Coach Sapula said in pregame, that they he wanted to put the pressure on. Uh, they got an opportunity to finish, which is what something they've been working on. Yep. Clarenceville needs to work on their finishing game. Needs to work on their offense. Uh huh. Their defense a little lackluster early on in this game. It they got their legs later on in the game after it was too late. Right. And Bunker, their goalkeeper, heck of a night tonight. Did her best she could. And Hope Pickens gets a goal. Hope Pickens gets a goal for the senior. Probably the only one she's going to have all year. Anyway, 12 nothing. Garden City takes uh, beats Clarenceville. I'm Evan Chapman. That's Christian Gibbons. Have a good night, everybody, and thanks for watching.